Welcome to TechFrame. Today I'm gonna explain biometrics. In biometrics, there are two types of categories. Both are extremely important in securing and identifying individuals. They can be used for locking your phone, identifying criminals by their fingerprints, and unlocking your phone by facial recognition or by fingerprint. There are many more examples to be made. These are the most common to use in your daily life. There are behavioral and physical biometrics. Behavioral biometrics is in its most common form, they use gait, keystroke, signature and lips movement. Physical biometrics is the most used in iris scans, fingerprints, facial recognition, and vein and hand recognition. Facial and fingerprints are the most common uses on phones, most commonly in Apple phones. The older generation of iPhones they use fingerprint scanners, that they do scan the ridges of your fingers. The database matches the existing scan and if it matches your finger the device will be unlocked. Facial recognition, also standard on new generation iPhones, uses a technology that relies on machine learning technology. They pick out distinctive details for example the distance between your eyes or the shape of your chin. This strengthens security but this also requires big data sets and is not practical for smaller companies that want to develop data. Vein and hand recognition is growing in popularity, this is mostly used in forensic science it is an extension of fingerprinting. The fingerprint is needed for direct contact but vascular can be seen on security cameras, most common area is the arm, hand, or hand bomb. Al veins have a unique pattern. How it works is infrared lights pass through the surface where they absorb into deoxygenated blood, there is a special camera needed to capture the footage which digitalize the data and either store or use it to identify. One easy example is the smartwatch that uses a green infrared light to see your heart rate on the smartwatch. They see the thickness of your vein and digitalize the information. Iris recognition. Everybody has a unique iris and is therefore very secure. It's not very practical for forensic science but is more common for example in several airports they use it for passport free traveling for low risk travelers or used for access to data centers. For example, Google uses it for every data center. They use it also for a refugee camp in the Jordan by Iris Guard. For activating ATM for cash withdrawal. This is an upcoming trend. Behavioral biometrics is more commonly used in forensic science. It's used for identifying suspects by their behavior like how they walk, their signature, their keystroke, their voice, and many more. In upcoming videos I'm gonna talk about each category in detail about how it works and where did they use it for. How is the security measures? The development of security in their future. For now, I keep it simple and understandable for everyone that is interested in biometrics. Gate is an important indicator for behavioral biometrics, you can identify somebody at long distances without direct contact, and it's even possible to observe around 24 individual parameters and movements, everybody has a unique body movement, and you can see and capture it, this indicator needs multiple algorithms, in another video, I go in debt about it how it works and how to replicate it. It required big data sets to store this information. There are a lot of things to say about this, everyone is unique and has a different signature, and they wrote down on documents, contracts, and invoices, everybody has unique handwriting and is also a biometric. Everybody has a different voice, voice recognition is used mostly to talk for example to Siri but is also used for criminal investigation, they use the information and stores it in databases, it's used for the most part of identification for suspects. Thanks for watching, in the next video I go in depth about hand and vein recognition, as always thanks for watching, like if you liked the video, if you wanna see more content and go in depth in this adventure, please consider a subscribe it helps and motivates a lot. Thanks.